wow, that's a convoluted sentence. Try again. Hi, I'm Kayla Amanda. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. Today, I just want to talk about the actual structural changes that I'm making to my Shapeshifter project. I don't have a script or anything. I'm just going to talk about it and hope that I can edit it into some semblance of coherency at a later date. I don't actually know if I've told you what my Shapeshifter book is about, but the very brief rundown is that Kara is accidentally turned into a Shapeshifter when she's out of town and doesn't realize that she's going to turn until the morning after her first full moon. Alex is the very hot son of the local alpha, and as Kara learns to acclimatize to her new life and to her new world, she and Alex sort of fight their growing feelings for each other for different reasons, but it's all about the balance between her learning how to fit into this new world and her trying to figure out where her relationship with Alex can sit within that. If you watched my I Paid a Beta Reader video, you may remember that there were four main problems with my book. One, it was far too bloated. Two, Alex's character wasn't introduced early enough or clearly enough. Three, neither of my character's motivations were made clear enough. And four, I didn't have enough conflict. I actually think that one and four are directly related because the reason that my book is so bloated is that I don't have a single defining conflict. I have a lot of little moments of conflict, but they're like small problems that don't have any stakes because I didn't give them any stakes. and. In their nature, they could actually be an overarching story conflict. They could be the problem that Karen and Alex are dealing with, but I've put too many of them into my project, and that means that none of them have high enough stakes to actually mean anything in the course of the story. The unfortunate thing is that I've already cut a huge conflict from this story. When I first wrote it, there was actually this whole kidnapping plot that happened in Act 3, and I cut that out during revisions last time around because I realized that there was too much going on and it didn't fit and it just drew everything out so much longer. But I managed to cut a whole kidnapping plot and still have too many little moments of conflict that pull away from the tension of the whole story. Obviously what I need to do here is to cut out some of those conflicts so that what I choose to keep can actually have stakes and can actually be meaningful. It's unfortunate because one of the things that I know I need to cut out is tension between two packs and it culminated in this fight scene that I really liked and I really wanted to include, but I just don't think that it fits in this book. I will for sure save it for something else in future because I really like the way that I wrote it, I like the way that it plays into the relationship that I have between my two leads, and I thought it led into like a good sex scene, but it will just have to be saved for a future date because it doesn't really fit for Alex and Kara's motivations, which is another thing that I needed to do and make those so much clearer. So my favorite fight scene and my favorite sex scene are getting cut from the book and I'm like <laughs> a little bit disappointed about it, but that's the kill your darlings thing, right? Sometimes you have to cut the things that you love because it'll make the project just so much stronger. <sighs> Rude. The conflict that I have decided to keep is the best one for the story. It's the one which centers Kara and Alex's character development more than any of the others. It's all about Kara learning to stand up for herself and getting a chance to throw down in spectacular shapeshifter fashion while also sort of stepping into her power and saying that like, this is my life now and I'm gonna fight for it because it's important and what I want is important. The other really big change that I'm making is I'm completely changing Alex's character. I realized when I was editing uh, one of my previous videos that I accidentally called him Asher because I have changed his name. Um, his name is Asher now and he's going to be a basically entirely different character, still come from the same sort of place, um, but I have given him a different face cast, I've given him a different personality, and I want to really distance myself from Alex. A big problem with Alex, as I said in a previous video, was that I was super aware of how he might be perceived and I ended up tricking myself into making him this like boring cardboard cutout that didn't have any personality or motivation and he just kind of did what the plot needed him to do. But those concerns that I stymied myself with weren't actually based in anything real. No one had ever said anything negative about Alex or had ever hinted that he might be doing anything that was like problematic or unlikable. I just got way too invested in the way that like YA Twitter freaks out about everything and the way that fandom's purity culture is like losing its shit, and I ended up writing a terrible, boring character because of it. So I'm pulling away from that, I'm writing with the door closed, as Stephen King would say, and I'm gonna focus on reshaping him as this new character, Asher, who is much more interesting and much more flawed, 
and who I think will actually be a good match for Kara, who will be someone who she would want to be with as like a person, not just because he's good looking and the plot told her to. I'm also cutting out a ton of characters and a ton of conversations that my reader was right, were totally redundant. I originally had this idea that this book was going to set up a whole series of shapeshifter books, but since I really, 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 really dislike writing the shapeshifted scenes, I don't think that's a good idea. I don't think that I want to write in the point of view of any more shapeshifters. So we are pivoting away from that, which means that I don't need all of my side characters. I don't need all of my establishing work. I can just focus on Kara and Alex and their friends and not having this like big cast that will eventually lend itself to 13 books in a spin-off series. The aim with this set of rewrites is to get my book down by about 20k. That will put it around 75,000 words, which I think is a much more reasonable place for me to have it at. That is a lot to cut, but I think by cutting out all of this extraneous like side quest stuff, I can get it down to something like much neater, much cleaner, and much tighter while not like sacrificing any detail in the actual story. On the like processing my feelings side of things, it does really suck to be confronted by just how bad my structure really was and just how weak some parts of my writing are. But that is part of the process. No one is good at everything all of the time. And I'm just trying to really push through my imposter syndrome and my really negative self-talk to the part that remembers that writing is something I love. And it's something I've done since I was like a tween and will probably always do. Even times when I have faded away from writing for months or even years, I've always come back. Something about it always pulls me back. And I can't imagine living in a world where I'm not writing. So imposter syndrome or no, I'm just gonna keep doing this because it's important to me and I love it. And the more that I work on doing the parts that are hard and the parts that I'm not inherently good at, the better that I'm gonna get at those parts and the stronger future drafts are gonna be. So we're gonna keep working at it. We're gonna turn Alex into Asher, who is a much more interesting, much more fuckable character. We are gonna cut out all the extraneous conflict that took stakes away from what actually mattered. And we're gonna cut out a bunch of characters. We're gonna make this a tighter, shorter, more concise book that someone someday might actually enjoy reading and not just suffer through because I paid them to. But I am also letting myself write a vampire novel for NaNoWriMo because emotionally I need a break from shapeshifters and I need a break from Karen Alex or Karen Asher. As always, if you are looking for me anywhere else, I am pretty much everywhere as Kayla Amanda. That is K-A-Y-L-U-G-H-M-A-N-D-A. And I'll see you next time. Yeah, I tricked you. Wow, what a good boy. What a good boy who got tricked. You wanna say hi? No, you don't wanna say hi? I'm trying not to get my lipstick on you. <laughs>